In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning and welcome to you all as we gather for our celebration of Mass today, which we know as the Community Mass this time in September. And I'll say a little bit more about that after the Gospel. But welcome to you all as we, we gather for Mass today. And particularly welcome to any new people here or any visitors who join us for Mass this morning. In the presence of the Lord, we begin by recognizing humbly our need for forgiveness. Let us call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and, and, and pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Gloria in excelsis Deo.
us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord was addressed to me as follows. Son of man, I have appointed you as sentry to the house of Israel. When you hear a word from my mouth, warn them in my name. If I say to a wicked man, wicked wretch, you are to die, and you do not speak to warn the wicked man to renounce his ways, then he shall die for his sin, but I will hold you responsible for his death. If, however, you do warn a wicked man to renounce his ways and repent, and he does not repent, then he shall die for his sin, but you yourself will have saved your life. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Avoid getting into debt. Accept the debt of mutual love. If you love your fellow men, you have carried out your obligations, all the commandments. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not kill. You shall not steal. You shall not covet, and so on, are summed up in this single command. You must love your neighbor as yourself. Love is the one thing that cannot hurt your neighbor. That is why it is the answer to every one of the commandments. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, if your brother does something wrong, go and have it out with him alone, between your two selves. If he listens to you, you've won back your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you. The evidence of two or three witnesses is required to sustain any charge. But if he refuses to listen to these, Report it to the community. And if he refuses to listen to the community, treat him like a pagan or a tax collector. I tell you solemnly, whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be considered loosed in heaven. I tell you solemnly once again, if two of you on earth agree to ask anything at all, it'll be granted to you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three meet in my name, I shall be there with them. 
the Gospel of the Lord. So when we get to the depths of winter, remember how warm it is in the cathedral today because um, it is nice just to remember that. We do have that fluctuation in temperature, so it is very pleasant here to, to gather in the sunshine to be able to celebrate Mass with the, the light streaming through. I read in the, the paper this week a letter that someone had received in response to a complaint that they'd made about poor service. And this was the, the, the response that they got. We take letting our customers down very seriously. Your comments will help us to further improve in this regard. So not a lot of thought had been given in resp the response that was sent. And I just mention that because in our readings today, and particularly in the gospel, there's that question of how should the church community deal with complaints, disagreements, and wrongdoing? St. Matthew in today's gospel reflects something of the teaching of Jesus and the practice of the early church community. This is part of a whole section in his gospel about the practicalities of church community life our dealings with one another, and the way that we are called to serve one another. So how appropriate is this phrase that we hear from St. Paul today? Avoid getting into debt, accept the debt of mutual love. So often St. Paul writes about the varieties of service that is to be done, and the roles and responsibilities that we, we need to take on to build up an authentic and faithful community according to the mind of Christ and reflecting his love. So it's nice that all that is the background to our celebration of Mass today, which is one where we focus on our own cathedral community. At all our Masses celebrated here and in the Crypt Chapel over this weekend, there's a we want to express a formal welcome back after the long summer break. Many of you will have been here throughout the summer, but others have had a time away during this period. And now that the school holidays are over, we return to our full schedule of services and activities within the cathedral. Every year, due to our location being right in the city centre, and next to a, a busy universities. Um, th there are new people who join us over, over a period of weeks, uh, moving into the city and join us here for Mass and become part of this community. So I want to express a, a real welcome to anybody who has, who has moved in over the last period of time, over the summer, and is settling into Liverpool and joining us for Mass. I hope you feel welcome within our community. But also, as the, the life of the, the cathedral changes every year, um, there are new families that join us as part of our community, connected with the activities that take place here. Within such a busy and major cathedral, there is so much service to be done. 
and we do have considerable numbers of helpers and ministers who are essential to sustain all the various activities that take place here. All of you who support the, the worship life of our cathedral, which is the, the core of all that happens here, you are the, if you like, the beating heart of the place. And so many of you take on extra responsibilities and greater involvement in the life of this cathedral. Also, we, we don't just think of our own life of worship, but as a cathedral we look outwards. We have to serve the wider diocese and the, the wider church. We serve our local city community and we provide a welcome to so many thousands of visitors who come here week in, week out to visit this place and to, to receive a, a, a welcome as they come. So we, we need many people to help us in providing the various services that take place here. And so this week, we renew our commitment to that service. We renew our commitment to the life of the church here, and we renew our commitment to serve those who, who come here and to renew our commitment to ministries within the liturgy. So if you turn to this, the service sheet that you have, there's just going to be a little act of renewal for us all to take part in. So would you like to stand, please, for this? So we say together, we give thanks for this cathedral, our spiritual home and place of worship. For it is here that we celebrate the presence of the Lord among us in word and sacrament. May we, the congregation, who gather here each week and form the regular worshiping community of the cathedral, the living stones on which this building is sustained, renew our commitment and dedication to this place. Through our regular presence and prayer, may we support each other and this cathedral in its mission to proclaim Christ's love to all. So I now invite those people who have been charged with carrying out particular ministries within this cathedral church and parish to renew your commitment to the service and support of the life and activities which take place here and in the wider community. At the beginning of this new cathedral season, we renew our service in support of the life and activities which take place within our cathedral and the wider local community. With the Lord's help and guidance, may we carry out our roles and ministries with dedication and commitment, and may we treat all whom we serve or are responsible for with care and understanding. Through our witness, May others come to know Christ our Lord. Father, bless those who work for the glory of your name in this house of prayer. May their ministry bring them contentment now and blessedness always. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Credo in unum Deum. As beloved sons and daughters of a loving Father, let us come to him without fear in prayer. Let us pray for Francis, our Pope, and all bishops. May they continue to be fruitful in exercising the ministry that has been entrusted to them. Lord, hear us. 
Let us pray for our cathedral community, that we may support and encourage one another to live our Christian vocation and exercise the ministries entrusted to us well. Lord, hear us. Let us pray for families, especially those who are struggling at this time, that they may receive the support that they need to remain an enduring source of love to one another. Lord, hear us. us. Let us pray for the sick, that they may know the Lord's care for them. Lord, hear us. Let us join our prayers with those of Mary, the mother of our Lord, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord God, in trust, we bring before you all these prayers. May we come to realize your goodness in a deeper way. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Let us pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. <clears throat> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvellous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <laughs> the mystery of faith Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body and one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Malcolm our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy and the entire people that you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. our Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And 
Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lord, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Please take a, a newsletter home with you. It gives you um, the details of celebrations and events that are happening over the next few weeks. And there, there, there is tea and coffee and some refreshment downstairs in the Gibbet Room after Mass for those who would wish to go down there. The Lord be with you. Lord, keep your family, we pray, in your constant care so that under your protection they may be free from all troubles and by good works show dedication to your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless and protect you all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord. By your life. Thanks be to you.